Well, hello again. So, of course, this is a bunny rabbit. I'm fairly sure I got the idea from uh, Todd Neufeld off of uh, one of the Balloon Magic magazines, if I remember correctly. Anyway, um, so I like it. It uh, uses one 260 uh, scrap of blue or whatever color and scrap of white for the eyes. So we'll just put this together. Okay? Just leave it right there for now. I like to make my bunnies in pink and then a blue nose, but if I make them, don't make them that way, I like to make them blue with a pink nose. Just my thing that I like to do. Gonna take our 260, blow it up. So, how much air did I put in? There you go, about five fingers. Okay. So, you can put the face way, uh, any way you want. You can, you can start with the, the, the cheeks here, you can start with a pinch twist, you can start with the ears, whatever you want, that's the correct way to do it. Me, for absolutely no reason at all, I'm going to start with the ears. Fall over, good, down it goes. Okay, so, I'm going to, what I call a, you know, good sized bubble here. That's about eight fingers. We're going to come back down, tie those together and roll the knot through. That keeps them from untwisting. Then we're going to do about a two finger pinch twist. And then we'll do about three fingers. One there, do it again. Wrap that around. Okay, so that's where we are, right there. I'm gonna grab my bunny that fell down. So hopefully you can see where we're headed on this one. Okay, good. Over there. So now we're going to, and I'll bring it back. Then we're gonna do our neck, and we're gonna do our front legs. So small, some small neck, you know, two fingers should be good enough. Then we'll do, um, I don't know, four, five, six fingers for the front legs right there. We'll do that again. Now sometimes with this one, what I like to do is I like to push the, uh, push right through or pull right through, that way it, it won't unwind. I like to make my body the same length as the arms. If you want to make it a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, that's totally up to you. You're gonna squeeze, hopefully, you know, just a little bit left there. We'll do about a little less than halfway. I'm gonna twist there, and then we're gonna twist again. This, this little bit that's left over becomes a tail. Okay. Wrap that around, push it through. Okay. There's our bunny with no nose, no eyes. So, then I'm going to grab a scrap of white. Sorry, blue. I don't need much air in it. That's plenty right there. Just okay. I take the... Um, I, I purposely tied it so I have a Good bit right there. Push that through the, down from the, the nose, we'll say. Bit of a pull, wrap it underneath so that the, that extra part that I did is right in there. I, I don't know if you can see it. But anyway, now we're gonna take the rest of the, the blue. We're gonna wrap that around the pinch twist around the back of the head, whatever it takes to hold it in place. There we are, I'll pull that part off in just a moment. Then we're gonna take our white, blow it up, and again about two fingers, tie that, give it a twist. Try to get those eyes the same size, those are going to be eyes. And what we do is we push that right on back near the, the ears, back of the head, wrap it around, okay, that'll do, pull. That part off, pull the blue off, and then you use your marker to color the eyes and whiskers on there. So anyway, I like to make this uh, teddy bear, it's a uh, teddy bear, sorry, bunny rabbit. We'll call this my line work bunny rabbit. People seem to like it, I like making it. I'd like to take another look here. Hopefully you can uh, see all of that. All right, bye for now.